Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today I'm going to do a little craft room tour and show you around um, and see, show how I store my various goodies. Um, it is a very, very hot today, a day today here in Southampton, England. So the only thing that's not usually in my craft room is my air conditioner. Um, I have wheeled that in today because it's been so boiling hot, but I'm just coping with the 30 degree heat uh, while I do this video for you. So I'm going to start by the door and as we go to just to the side of the door there I have my triple um, cupboard from Ikea. On the top are some big storage boxes where I keep things for uh, my big events, display items and things and this is my Stampin' Up apron hanging on the outside and in here we have um, storage and moving crates which are very useful, folding crates at the top and some templates from all my previous classes. Then in A4 packs I keep all my full um, and half pieces of um, the cardstock in their colour families. It's the neutral one down there and then I've also got um, some 12 by 12 storage as well. Below that I have my precious label maker. Everything is labelled. I couldn't manage without that and a box with some alterables and things like that. Below that is my designer series paper. Now these I keep in packs um, and love keeping them in the packs because I keep the backing sheet in there. They're sort of in, in 12 by 12 like scrapbooking um, holders and because now Stampin' Up put the colours on the back which I love so it means that we know um, what is going to match um, with all of our designer papers, so love those. Underneath, um, another one of these big um, holders, and this is basically everything that isn't cardstock or DSP. So I've got some magnetic sheets there on the top, I've got um, our lovely glimmer paper in that one there, I've got vellum, I've got watercolour paper, so basically everything that isn't um, doesn't fit into the other two goes into that one there. I've got a bit of paperwork next including my um, file here which is my class workshops and checklist so that's a list of everything I need to take with me um, when I go out and do uh, workshops and things outside my home. Um, some more paperwork storage and this big one here is full of current samples, things that I might take to a workshop, there's some to be sorted. I received some lovely swaps at a team training recently so they're still to be sorted but this is stuff that I would take off, um, I would pick some things out from there and take it off to uh, workshops or put it on display in my uh, teaching room downstairs. So on to the next one which is the double cupboard. Um, as I said, this is all from Ikea and I kind of designed exactly what I wanted, which was what was nice. So um, I've got um, unopened packs of um, cardstock at the top and bits of random cards that I might want to die cut. Um, next is all about preparing. So I've got classes and workshops that I've prepared. Everything goes into, oh, that's come off, um, into um, plastic bags. So it's all kind of pre-cut and prepared, ready for my ladies. So that's the workshops one. Just putting my label back on. And the classes one. I'm going to do that at a workshop coming soon. And then I've got back here um, class planning ideas, things that I've received that I think would be a good idea or something to change. And my sponges there coming down. This is all the cardstock that is cut so once I cut into a piece of cardstock um, and I have my scraps, let's just pull this one out, um, I keep them uh, just in these file folders, um, all labelled of course, and it means that you don't reach for um, a new pack, a new piece, when you just want a little scrap. So um, I love that and they're all of course sorted into the colour family so I can find them quickly. Um, then some of my punches, <laughs> this is not the full selection but it's quite a few of them, these are the ones that I reach for the most often. Um, 
and what fit really nicely um, standing up right into these really useful boxes. So I've got most of them there. Um, this little pull out uh, drawer, um, I've got my embossing, for, um, embossing powders um, with their little spoons, I've got glitters, I've got clay, I've got my backup supply of washi tape. I use that all the time, so you'll see I've got that out as well. Um, and I've got my uh, class daubers, so um, greens, browns, pinks and blues and things for classes. Um, underneath here I've got tools, uh, plastic bags of various sizes, uh, wipes, you never need to be far for some wipes. Um, and down here I've got um, envelopes in quite large quantities over there. Now I keep nearly all current stamps, but this is my small collection. This is all I have that is not in the current catalogue. Um, I'm a business demonstrator, so I choose to just keep things that I can share with my lovely ladies. Um, so those are the ones that I just couldn't bear to part with. Um, down here are my re-inkers, and can you see I've just put little dots on the top from the cardstock of their colour, so they're a bit easier to find. Those ones are duplicates. And then various tapes and bits of um, metal clips and things that I might use. Um, some cleaning cloths to make sure everything's clean and tidy, um, including my cloths for my blocks. Um, heat and stick powder and dazzling diamonds. Um, my little punches and my edge punches are down there at the moment. And these are my blocks that I reach for the most often. And as we go down, um, some more storage. This On, on this next shelf I've got um, just some backup supplies, some extra things that I, I might uh, that I like to keep in stock, like some extra adhesives of various kinds. Um, I've got my big pearls and my big rhinestones down there. I've got some notepads that I'm going to use for a class and some in the box at the end is some things prepared for my team training day next week. And at the bottom I've got my um, lovely Stampin' Up um, organiser bag that I got from convention a few years ago. I take that when I go to my uplines trainings. And the next one is my catalogue bag, so that I take that out with me, um, that holds about 10 catalogues. Very heavy when it's full, <laughs> um, but very good for organising. And then more envelopes and some heavy duty cutters for when I'm cutting for big classes. Okay, so hanging on the door here I have my ribbon storage. Um, this is also racks from Ikea and um, they are in the kitchen section. I can actually extend that to three racks if I've got more uh, ribbon in stock but at the moment I'm keeping my ribbon just about under control um, and I've also got uh, my baker's twine and it's all colour coded and I've just put these in the little storage boxes that the brads and things come in and hanging there I've got the new style um, candy dots and also the brads that they'll go in. They're hanging there together and the um, uh, rhinestones and pearls and things. And coming on to my desk. So if I just step back a little bit, this is everything that I'm reaching for all the time. As you can see, it's nice and close to that cupboard where I've got all my best um, punches and my most used things. To say usually we don't have the air conditioner <laughs> it's usually more likely to be cold in here than hot okay so this is my um, homemade um, ink pad storage I made this uh, many years ago it's made out of foam board um, it's not ideal because can you see it's starting to get a bit wobbly um, but the lovely stamping up ink holder is just a bit big for the space that I've got so um, I've actually managed to to make this and it holds my markers as well as my um, ink pads. 